I always give away too much mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch Hey Lifer Tribe, welcome to another video Living Life With Your Girl Stay Wagovi edition and if you're new to the channel welcome 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 and thank you so much for being here and since you're here please consider hitting that subscribe button and becoming a permanent part of the lifer tribe and if you're here just for the Wagovi update and you're on your own Wagovi, Ozempic, Manjaro, any semi-glutide journey welcome to the channel and I hope you decide to become a part of the tribe as well and so today is going to be update for I believe week three, four, and five. And the reason why I'm doing weeks three, four, and five all together is because they've been pretty uneventful. But I promised that I was going to take y'all on this journey every step of the way. So I figured it was time for me to sit down and make a video just to update y'all. So there hasn't been a lot of change. That's not a negative thing. We're going to get into the details about that. But I have, you know, found out some things. I've become, I guess, more acclimated to the Wagovi shot and all of that. And so I think I'm kind of working this thing out and realizing how this is going to go for me, at least so far. So just to catch you up to speed, I started Wagovi five weeks ago. And this is my first time dealing with Wagovi and I had some issues getting it. Everybody knows about getting the pre-authorization, then getting the pre-authorization and then there's shortages and all that. So I worked through that whole process. And if you're interested in knowing exactly how that went, then there is a video um, in this playlist about my Wagovi unboxing and I talk about the whole journey to getting the Wagovi and I also share my Wagovi kit, survival kit that I created based on the information that I had gotten. So here we are at week five and I've learned a little more and a couple of things have happened. So when I first got the Wagovi, I decided to do my injections on a Monday because I think I received it like on a Thursday. So I decided to just while out that weekend, eat whatever I wanted to eat. You know how you do, get all of the bad stuff out of your system before you get started. And so I decided to start on a Monday. I started on a Monday and I did my first injection in my stomach but I kind of did it towards the side and after doing some research, realized that it's probably better to do it closer to the belly button. So with that shot on the side, I didn't have any side effects except for a little dry mouth, which I still deal with till this day, which I think it's because I'm just not getting enough water, probably a little bit dehydrated, even though I am doing the water with the electrolytes. You just get full really easy and you know fullness comes from consuming liquids as well so i'm probably not getting a lot of water i mean not not a lot of water but probably not enough water that's the only thing i can think of but anyway in that first week i lost about four pounds in that first week but i didn't have any of the nausea none of the constipation no dizziness nothing like that just some dry mouth well then i did the shot the second week and I also did it in my stomach but I did it close to my belly button area this time and still no side effects but I didn't lose any weight that second week and but I did end up gaining a pound like the day after the shot but then I lost a half of that pound back so technically I gained about a half a pound and I'm not really sure why I gained the half a pound, but I believe it's because during that week I was sick with some kind of crud, sinus infection, allergy, something. And I was taking a lot of like the cough syrup, Robitussin, Theraflu, and those things are very syrupy and I'm sure very sugary. They have no nutritional value uh, breakdown because I was trying to look to see how many carbohydrates how many sugars but it didn't have that on there but I'm pretty sure that's why and I was not moving at all I was just laying around completely exhausted because I still wasn't eating much at all but it was probably some water weight gain whatever nothing major but there was no loss during that week 
So then the third week, I decided that I was going to give myself the shot in my upper arm because I just figured since I'm on this journey and I want to take y'all on it with me, I'm just going to kind of mix things up and try different things. So I did the shot in my upper left arm first and for the first time I felt a little nausea. And so I don't know because my dosage is still the same. I don't know if I've said it yet in this video, but I'm on the 0.25 and I actually received three months of the 0.25. And so my plan was just to stay on that as long as I could because they sent me the three months. So, you know, I didn't feel necessarily that I was going to titrate every month depending on what kind of results I got. So I've been on the 0.25. So there was no change in dose. The only thing I changed was where I injected myself. So I injected myself in the upper arm and there was just this little bit of nausea kind of like in the background for lack of a better way to explain it. Like I never threw up, never was really dizzy. It was just like just this little bit of feeling of nausea, like maybe after you get off a merry-go-round or something like that. So nothing major. I was able to live with it and it seemed like it went away when I would eat something. And so it wasn't horrible. And I'm someone who hates being nauseous and I was able to stomach it, no pun intended. And so that happened when I changed to the upper arm and that week I lost one pound. So it wasn't a lot, but it was still a pound. And so then the next week, cause there wasn't really anything, you know, major. I still to this day have not been exercising, which was not the plan at all, but I got sick and then I went out of town. So the next week, what I decided to do was switch my shot to Saturday because I was going to be going out of town and I just didn't want to be bothered with traveling with it and keeping it on ice. I didn't want to have to be bothered with remembering to take the shot. And so I did some research and they had stated that as long as your injection was two to three days apart, that it's okay to change the day. So for those of you who know anything about these medications, they are weekly injections and you're supposed to take them on the same day every week. The time of day doesn't um, matter. You can switch the time of day, but you are supposed to take them on the same day. So I did my research to see if you could change the day and it was completely okay. And I was leaving on Saturday morning. So I went ahead and did the injection Saturday morning. And it was fine. I did it in my other arm. I did the injection and practically got directly on an airplane. And I had the little bit of nausea once again a few hours after. And I hadn't eaten anything, but I was able to fly and everything. And it really, you know, it didn't bother me at all. Just that little bit of nausea. And the first time the nausea seemed to last throughout most of the week, it was just, again, every once in a while I would feel like, oh, I don't feel that great and kind of check in with myself. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm a little nauseous. Well, the second week, it only seemed to last like two days. It was completely fine. Now, the other difference in the second week, like I said, I was traveling and I was going back home to my hometown neighborhood where I grew up. So, for those of you who know how that is and you moved away, you tend to kind of eat poorly when you go back home because you want to eat all the junk. Look, say hello. He is wanting all my attention right now. You want all the junk that you remember from your childhood and growing up. So I didn't eat a lot, but it was what I was eating. I had pizza. I had fried chicken wings. I had a sub sandwich. I had a couple of chocolate covered pretzels. And so that's how I was eating was not drinking water hardly at all and i also had like two cocktails while i was gone so i was a little nervous about how that was going to be because i wasn't moving around a lot i was sitting around just enjoying family and friends did no exercising whatsoever and then this is how i'm eating but i was still only eating once a day y'all will not believe this why did i come home and i had lost two pounds. Who does that? Wallace, can you get your dog? He is driving me crazy in here. This puppy, just like a little kid, as soon as he sees me busy, it's like, I want to play. I want to play. I want to play. But anyway, I came home after being gone for six days 
and lost a pound and a half. So I don't know how that works. I don't know because <laughs> I was not moving around a lot and that had been my biggest weight loss since the first week. So go figure. I have no idea. The nausea only lasted a couple of days, had no other side effects, wasn't throwing up, nothing, but I lost a pound and a half. So I don't know. So fast forward to this week, I still, you know, I'm going to go ahead and keep the shot on Saturday. I have no desire or need to keep moving it around. That was just for convenience that week. So I'm still on Saturday. And so now I did my shot in my thigh. And so today, as I'm recording, this is Tuesday. I did that on Saturday. So I believe then that would be week number five because we have stomach, stomach, arm, arm, thigh. So I'm on week number five and I got on the scale this morning and I have lost a pound and a half since Saturday. So all together, that means I've lost about seven or eight pounds. I'm sorry, I don't have the total exactly right but it's about seven or eight pounds in the past five weeks but i did make a call to my doctor this morning to see if i could titrate up to the next one just because i guess maybe i'm impatient i'm not sure and i actually called my doctor's office before i stepped on the scale and yesterday i hadn't lost anything and the day before i hadn't lost anything so i decided i was going to call to get the stronger dose today so I called the doctor. They said they're going to call it in. But then I got on the scale afterwards and was like, oh, I actually lost a little bit of weight. So that has been the journey so far. Um, I do notice a difference in where you inject it because when I injected it in my stomach and in my thigh, I've had no type of side effects except for the dry mouth. But in my upper arm, I did get the nausea. And so I don't know if the side effect means that it's working harder because, again, with that little bit of nausea, I did lose some weight without eating that great. You know what I mean? So it's just, it's confusing. All I can say for sure is that it definitely seems to be working. I'm going out of town again this week and I'll be gone all weekend. I'm sure I'm probably not going to eat the greatest. However, I am going to go visit my sister and my brother-in-law and they're, you know, on their healthy lifestyle journey too. So it won't be horrible because we're all going to be trying to make sure we're not going overboard, but I'm sure it won't be the same as just being home and concentrating on it. And I know there'll be no exercising either. So we'll see how it works, you know, continuing this week because I'm going to do it in my upper thigh again on Saturday. And I'm just going to go ahead and take the pen with me to my sister's house and do it while I'm there. But it's just really funny that it seems like there may be a difference in how the injection works depending on your injection site because there has been a difference in the side effects and there has been a difference in the weight loss. And it really makes me think it has to be the injection site because that first time I did it in my thigh, or that second time I did it in my arm, I traveled and I was not eating well. Like I said, I didn't eat a lot, but it was just the thing. I even had a couple of French fries. So I don't know. I don't know. And I was not drinking hardly any water, like maybe two regular size bottles of water a day. And that's not nearly enough. So that's just been how the journey's been for me so far. I'm going to go ahead and take the regular um, 0 0.25 injection on Saturday. I'm not going to switch it yet because, again, I called that in before I weighed myself. And I don't want to keep just upping the dose if it's working for me. I don't want to do that. And I know even though I haven't lost a lot, Seven to eight pounds in five weeks is really the healthier way to lose it. You know, they say you should only lose about one to two pounds a week. And especially since I haven't been exercising the way I need to and building that muscle mass, I don't want to lose a bunch of weight before I'm building that muscle because that's, you know, when you just kind of get that sunken in look, you lose any type of definition. So I'm really kind of glad it hasn't been this really fast process because I was not in a position to lose a lot of weight as far as my physical activity. So the plan is once I get back from this trip to start next week, 
with the weight training and everything but you know life just has been lifing as we say and so i haven't been able to do that the way i wanted to but my schedule should allow for me to get more serious about the weight training because i definitely don't want to lose this weight and just have you know that sunken in look and no definition and just being flabby and i'm a woman of a certain age and so i'm losing muscle mass on a regular anyway so i need to be building that up but um yeah, it's been a good journey so far. So if anyone is considering it, I definitely would say go for it. I'm sure it's different for everyone. I did all the research. I watched all the videos. Some people had really bad experiences. Other people have been pretty much like me. But I think the key to it is being prepared. A lot of people who I saw who had bad situations didn't do a lot of research. And so there are things that you um, can research and know to avoid. Like you want to make sure you're getting in enough protein and getting those protein shakes if you're not going to be able to consume it by eating. You want to make sure you're taking your B12. You want to take, you know, some sort of supplement to help you with your fiber to be able to combat possible constipation, things like that. So Again, if you're interested in that, I will make sure that I link that video so that you can check out and see the things that I did to prepare. And it has allowed me to be virtually side effect free. Like any side effects that I have are not enough to make me not want to take it or anything that's made me feel like it's unhealthy. Uh, anything that's made me be fearful it's just like, it's something that, you know, the way I gauge things is like, if I had to deal with this for the rest of my life, could I do it? Yeah. I mean, even the nausea, it was so faint. It really wasn't anything like, was it pleasant? Did I want to have it like that? No, but it didn't stop me from functioning. I flew on an airplane, so you know, it couldn't have, and it was a rough flight. And I talk about that in one of my videos as well, but um, the nausea didn't didn't play a factor at all. So hopefully these videos are helping someone on their journey or helping you to make a decision on your journey. Please understand that I am not a medical professional by any stretch of the imagination. I have no license. I have no certification, no degree in the medical field whatsoever. This is just me sharing my journey and my experience just offering some information that may be able to answer some questions because if you're anything like me i'm a review person i like to hear from real people just what their experiences are just to be able to relate but of course consult your physician consult your pcp your bariatric doctor whoever it is to make sure that it's the right thing for you and there are so many of these drugs out there now you want to make sure it's the right one wagovi is fda approved specifically for weight loss um, even though I am pre-diabetic pre and I have metabolic syndrome with hypertension and high cholesterol I'm not type 2 diabetes at this point and that's what we are trying to make sure we stay away from but I was not able to get approved for like your Manjaro's and Ozempic's and things like that that are specifically for the pre di I mean, not pre-diabetes, but the type 2 diabetes. So you just want to do your research, make sure you're asking for the right thing, make sure you're getting the right thing, and then just do ultimately what is best for you. But anyhow, hopefully this information has been informative and helpful in some sort of way. If you like the video, please go ahead and give a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you could be notified every single time that I drop new content like this. Not sure how long I'm going to be on this Wagovi journey, but I will continue to put out Wagovi specific content as long as the journey continues and possibly beyond, depending on wherever this whole health and wellness thing takes me to. And if there's like content for life after Wagovi, do you do you gain the weight bag? Is it, you know, difficult to keep it off? So I'll definitely be sure to document everything. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and you know the drill. Always be kind and love one another, but don't forget to live your life. L-Y-F-E. Love yourself first explicitly. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. I always give away too much. Mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch.